Very good question to all of your followers and viewers. Alam ko, very busy kayo. You're taking care of your business. Maraming uh, mga kailangan ayusin. But what I recommend is carve out maybe one to two hours per day kung ano lang yung available mo and make that as your declutter time. Ang magiging mahirap kasi if you just try to put everything in one day and you try to see, ah, I see good yung bahay ko. But the reality is, we all lead our lives, especially now, in terms of our level of priorities. So, if you want to start to declutter your home, pwede mong i-divide into different chunks para maging doable naman siya and hindi siya nakaka-overwhelm. Bale, para akong coach nila, pero hindi ako yung nagsasabi ano yung tatanggalin. Yung owner pa rin yung nagsasabi kung ano yung gusto nilang i-keep, ano yung gusto nilang i-donate, i-discard. Pero yung goal namin is para yung bahay ng kahit sinong client ko is ma-appreciate nila, ma-enjoy nila. Hindi siya isang klaseng bahay na ang dami-daming gamit pero masikip, hindi nag enjoy yung mga tao. Parang for me, para magkaroon ka ng spark joy home, kailangan talaga every single item na meron ka, either ginagamit mo, nagpapasaya sa'yo, or meron siyang value na tinatawag na. Hi everyone, we're back for another lockdown learning and as you all know, we feature different people from different walks of life, different professions, different businesses to somehow no, help you, give you enough principles, give you uh, insights while you are stuck at home that you get to build your skills as well. For this video, for this vlog, we are in for another treat because we have the Marikondo of the Philippines. Kung napanood niyo yung Marikondo, ako yung sa Netflix na Marikondo na series, nap napanood ko lang yung step one, yung ilagay mo lahat ng mga uh, damit mo sa kama. Hanggang dun lang ako, tas I stop already. Hanggang dun lang naabutan ko. But what she does is similar to what Marikondo is doing. If ako, I know a lot about the market, she knows a lot about decluttering. So, without much ado, we have Renelin Tan Castillejos in the vlog. So, hello, Renelin. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me, Marvin. How are you? I know you and your husband are entrepreneurs also. You have uh, you have different businesses na totally magkaiba. Uh, kumusta yung business during the lockdown? For me, yung business ko is a home organizing decluttering business. So, ibig sabihin nun, I go from house to house to help people declutter their homes. So, kailangan ko talaga pumunta physically into a specific house ng client ko. But since nag-lockdown nga tayo nung March, talagang nag-turn around yung business model ko kasi hindi na nga pwedeng pumunta sa mga houses ng tao and a lot of people, takot din sila na mag-accept ng mga tao sa bahay nila. So, for the past three weeks, what I've been doing was, ano lang talaga, trying to see how I can support my clients through online and also sa sarili ko naman, also trying to see paano ko ngayon i dadalhin yung business ko to a different level na how I can help people continuously online naman. Kasi parang virtual typing session na ngayon. For those who don't know what you do, baka while you were, while you were talking nun, niinisip na iba, anong kaibahan yan dun sa ano, mag-hire kami ng maglilinis ng bahay? So, what's the difference uh -oh. between your business and hiring someone na maglilinis? What, what's, the, what's the shift from that also? The difference between my service, which is uh, the cluttering service using the KonMari method, from the regular cleaners. For the cleaners, for example, they go to your house, bahala na silang maglinis, and sila mag-aayos nung bahay mo kahit wala ka doon. For me naman, as a KonMari consultant, I don't clean houses. I help people tidy homes. Ibig sabihin, pupuntan ko isang bahay, tutulungan ko yung isang may-ari na sabihin, ano ba talaga yung gusto niyang mga gamit lang na nasa bahay? Paano magkakaroon ng spark joy home? So, a lot of things, kailangan mag-discard, kailangan din mag-ayos at magtanong, ano lang ba yung kailangan mo in your house? So, so, so para sa lifestyle. Parang basically, uh, nandun yung owner, may help, kung may helper sila nandun dito. Kasi ikaw magsasabi, okay, ito, ito, pwede na ito tanggalin, ito, retain to ganun. Bale, para akong coach nila, pero hindi ako yung nagsasabi ano yung tatanggalin. Yung owner pa rin yung nagsasabi kung ano yung gusto nilang i-keep, ano yung gusto nilang 
i-donate, i-discard. Pero yung goal namin is para yung bahay ng kahit sinong client ko is ma-appreciate nila, ma-enjoy nila. Hindi siya isang klaseng bahay na ang dami-daming gamit pero masikip, hindi nag enjoy yung mga tao. Parang for me, para magkaroon ka ng spark joy ko, kailangan talaga every single item na meron ka, either ginagamit mo, nagpapasaya sa'yo, or meron siyang value na tinatawag na. Kaya nga guys, for those who have been watching me for uh, the past few weeks, especially yung lockdown, naiyatuloy ako yung nakalawit yung mga cords ko dito na kaya baka feeling ko nadja-judge na ako because of clutter at the back. So, so anyways, you help people uh, you help people make their houses bet better of sorts. Tidy or decluttered. Uh-huh. Ano yung siguro number one thing na napansin mo na uh, biggest problem ng mga tao kung bakit makalat yung bahay nila and for those who are watching comment below if you've ever experienced this na makalat yung bahay nyo for some reason either baka sobrang busy talaga kayo na when when you wake up you just rush to work also and that mm-hmm. happens also or uh, talagang ano hindi nyo priority maglinis eh comment below ano yung uh, tidying problems niyo but what what have you noticed sa mga clients mo na problem nila their houses are very clean kasi may difference between cleaning and tidying so, pag cleaning, kailangan walang alikabok, walang dumi. Pero pag tidying kasi, alin bang ba? Alin yung mga gamit sa bahay mo na nandyan, pero hindi mo naman siya ginagamit. Or hindi naman na siya nagko-contribute. Hindi na siya part of who you are. Pwedeng uh, collection mo siya, bata ka pa lang. Or pwedeng ginagamit mo siya five years ago, pero either nangihinayaw ka kasi mahal siya, or sayang siya, or branded siya, kaya hindi mo siya tinatanggal. Pero sa totoo, hindi mo na rin siya gagamitin in, in the next few years. Ganyan. So, but like, for example, in your space, dyan sa likod mo, nakikita ko, all of these items you really use. So, hindi siya clutter. It's valuable items in your home that help you be who you are as Marvin. Gear mo the stockbroker, the, wa- the husband, alam mo yun, the businessman, parang ganyan. Kasi hindi naman goal ng KonMari mawala lahat ng gamit sa bahay mo eh. Kasi if for you, masaya ka na meron kang ganitong gamit, meron kang ganitong clothes, as long as it is being used and is of value, okay lang yun. When nagkaroon ng ECQ, money was not coming in kasi as a consultant, of course, you earn also based on clients, uh, your expertise, yes, your skill, uh, teaching them how to do it sa sa houses nila. How did you get by kung kung wala, walang ganun? Did you have savings or do you have other sources of income? Very grateful ako that I have a husband who really believes in savings. Kung baga, nung nag-start din ako ng business ko, see, wala ako talaga masyadong savings. Pero yung husband ko, he's a businessman and parang ever since bata pa lang siya, ang hobby niya, mag-ipon, kung baga. And so, nung kinasal nga kami, it was really an adjustment period for us kasi kumbaga ako may ko mag-shopping siya naman mahilig siyang mag magtrabaho mag mag uh, ayun mag-ipon ng pera so doon ako natuto sa kanya slowly but surely na importante talaga yung savings of course when it comes to savings hindi comparable yung savings niya sa akin pero doon ko nakita lalo na nga yung ECQ di ba yung lagi mong sinasabi na kailangan may emergency fund yun yung tinuturo mo sa amin so, tuwa rin naman ako yung asawa ko. It's talagang may savings siya. Kasi sa totoo feeling ko, kung wala yung savings namin, ang hirap, lalo na his business is in the travel industry in Batanes. And so, ngayon naka-lockdown lahat. So, um, of course, we don't just take care of ourselves. We also have to take care of our employees and of our staff. So, in as much as we can, yung savings na pwede namin i-divide, yun yung um, pinag-uusapan din talaga namin. So, Yun, savings right now and I guess more important than savings is yung mindset. Yung mindset na this will pass, this too will pass with faith and with courage. Kasi for the past three weeks na mahirap, lalo na nung first week namin, parang, parang naka-autopilot lang kami ng first week. Parang trying to make everything work, trying to see kung ano yung may tutulong namin sa operations namin. But after that, na-realize namin, oh after this, ano na next? And so, it was really a conscious day-to-day effort na nag-aral muna kami. Nag-aral kami mga online classes, na nag-uusap din kami mag-asawa, like, okay, how can we go through this together? And so, yun, for the past two weeks nga, 
doon ko rin na plan na in the next coming weeks and months, mag-offer na rin ako ng virtual tidying sessions because I think a lot of people also need it for this time. And although, if it even if it's not the same amount of money I'm earning in the past because it's going to be virtual, it still will help um, other people and also me to be able to sustain and add into that income stream. Kasi, kumbaga, right now, nawala talaga yung income stream ko eh for the home visits. But there's a lot of possibilities now looking into online. I like what you said, no, na, two things about what you said. Number one, yung level of savings kasi sobrang important yun. And, and I'm gonna repeat it again. I might sound like a broken record saying it over and over, but savings is so important. And when times are good kasi people don't think about savings eh. Parang, but ako magsisave eh, invest ko na lang, tulog siya sa banko eh. But, uh-huh. ayun, eto na yun. Eto na yung pinag-uusapan natin on why savings is very, very important. Savings is literally there to save you when you cannot save yourself also. Uh, I like also what you said about mindset. If you've been watching the previous videos of the previous guests also, one of the reasons or one of the biggest differentiating factor of people who do very, very well in times like this is having a proper mindset that ano eh, there's always opportunity in times like this. And to those also watching, no, please remember that don't always look at what the problem is. Look for how can you get out of it. Look for the solution. Look for the silver lining in all of it. Because in every crisis, there's always opportunity. It's about how you find it. I'll share. I'll share this. Uh, red. Oh. Isang business na na, na na nagawa because of this. Alam mo kung ano? Mm-hmm. So brand dami nagbibenta sa Viber because there are a lot of tiga mga sa grocery. May bagong service na nagawa. Yung yung ginawa nila is kami pipila sa'yo sa grocery, bayaran mo kami ng 500 pesos, kami nagagawa lahat, kami magsha-shopping, kami pipila para, para sa'yo. Pero isipin mo yun, those are things out of innovation na dati, ha, sino mag-isip na, ha, ba't ako magbabayad ng 500 pesos para pipila sa grocery? Because ngayon, may pila na eh. My, we, my wife went to SNR uh, last weekend, uh, two, four hours just to pila, wow. order, buy everything. So, ganun. And, in times like that, you just have to look, wag mo tignan lang yung problema. You try to look outside and beyond that because when you look at, look beyond that, you will see things from a different perspective na meron kang, uh, meron kang mas ma, meron kang problem na masosolve. Yung problem na masosolve mo, yun yung business na magagawa mo. Teka, ba't ako, oh, ba't ako nag-explain? Dapat ikaw yung nag-explain. Hindi, it. sobrang agree ako doon. <laughs> Kasi tama ka eh. Hindi ako magbabayad before, 500 pipila, pero ngayon tayo, just for uh, parang peace of mind mo, stay at home, do our party, really just stay at home. Parang yung service na yun, parang basic na siya for some people. And, and yun, uh, there will be a lot of businesses that will be born out of this, that because of this, hindi na sila mawawala, magiging parte na siya ng buhay ng lahat ng tao. Kasi ganun din naman eh. If you experience, pwede pala akong mag-grocery na na order ko nang dadalhin na lang dito hindi na ako mag hindi na ako magkailangan magbuhat ng kung ano man kailangan ko every time when people find that convenience i don't think that will also stop anymore even if the lockdown is over even if this full uh, illness pandemic is also over as well uh, before i go to my ne- before i go to my next question hindi ka ba natatakot pala noon pupunta ka sa bahay ng strangers to be able to fix their houses hindi ba siya scary na uh, either baka may baka may serial killer or, mm-hmm. or masamang balak, ganun. Bago ko punta yung isang bahay, meron muna kaming interview over the phone. And of course, most of my clients, kung di man siya referrals, they also, parang meron akong contact. Alam, for example, yung asawa ko na, okay, pupunta ko sa house na to, ganyan. Hindi, like for us, even in our training as organizing consultants, importante, alam, may may alam kung saan kami pupunta. Ganyan. So, meron din naman kaming tinatake ng mga precautions for us. Lalo na, syempre, you go into the house, mga 4 hours ka andun, ganyan. Ah, so, it's normally 4 hours pala? So, mm-hmm, usually 4 hours. Ano yun? Are you there the whole time na uh, habang naglilinis or you just give instructions? Ito yung kailangan mo. So, dapat by the time na ano, uh, ito, na, ito lahat yung natanggal. Or, or you, you start and end na, na tidy na rin lahat. Um, for me, since I'm a very hands-on organizing consultant, yung iba kasi, they just go, aalis sila, may ibang gagawa. Sa akin naman, very personalized, one-on-one. So, once we start, hanggang for the full four hours, nandun ako helping the client, um, telling them anong gagawin. But, hindi yun matatapos kasi. So, usually, we have five sessions per house, ganyan. And so, my homework in between, 
Tapos, the in-between homework, bago ako bumalik, um, pwedeng mag-questions yung client ko over the phone or pag may papadala siyang picture sa Viber para may consultation pa rin nangyayari in-between the in-person sessions. Mm, okay. I like what you said no na automatic when the lockdown started on the first week what you did was you build your you build your skill nag-aral muna kayo and hindi kayo mm-hmm. nag kayo nagpanic. Uh why do you also I and I've been saying that to a lot of people that use this lockdown to build your skill. Why was there a need for you to educate yourself? Kasi for me in before this lockdown happened, parang lagi ko sinasabi na oh I want to learn this, I want to learn that, ganyan. Tapos Parang ngayon, binigyan na ako ng universe ng, ng time. Eh, hindi ko pa ba siya gagawin? And pangalawa, like for me, especially whenever I go to my clients, syempre yung value na hinahanap nila, hindi ko naman yun nang lagi makukuha because of experience eh. And so, yung value added also for my clients, I also make it a point na importante rin. I also give my homework uh, regularly. Para, ano rin, hindi rin, hindi rin nagiging routine yung ginagawa kong trabaho. And I guess, that's that's where um, my happiness lies. Kumbaga, parang paano ko mas mapapa-exciting yung mag-tidy, mag-declutter para sa mga clients ko. Kasi, for a lot of them, alam naman nila and gusto nilang mag-tidy. Pero pag sabi mo na, tara, let's go, let's do it, dun nagkakaroon ng um, parang challenge or tinatamad sila. So with the different techniques, different tips, I have to, I want to be able to make them uh, more efficient yung kanilang ginagawa hmm. for that. As a, as a tidying expert, no? so parang, I'm, parang generic advice for people who are watching this. Most of the people who are watching this are siguro like me, either they're investors or entrepreneurs or uh, yun. Uh, what, what are siguro sakto during lockdown? What are... Hmm. Parang, tips that you can give them right off the bat na ito yung pwede nilang isipin if they want to declutter? Oo. So, very good question to all of your followers and viewers. Alam ko, very busy kayo. You're taking care of your business. Maraming uh, mga kailangan ayusin. But what I recommend is carve out maybe one to two hours per day kung ano lang yung available mo and make that as your declutter time. Ang magiging mahirap kasi if you just try to put everything in one day and you try to see, ah, I'm just going to buy it. But the reality is, we all lead our lives, especially now, in terms of our level of priorities. So if you want to start to declutter your home, pwede mong i-divide into different chunks para maging doable naman siya and hindi siya nakaka-overwhelm. And also, when decluttering, it's important that you discard first. Yung storing will come last. Minsan kasi akala ng ibang tao, ah, bibili ako ng storage area or mga cabinets, parang first step na yon. Sa totoo, when you declutter the Conmari way, unahin mo muna yung pag-discard, pag-donate, or pag-set aside. And then, sa dulo mo na siya ayusin. Amazing tips, no? That's where you know if someone that you're talking to is a professional because, uh, I don't know if you know this, guys, most of the interviews, no script, I don't even send the questions beforehand. If, if you know your stuff, <laughs> Out of the bat, may answer ka kagad eh. That's why, you know, Rene Lintan Castillejo is a... Hindi lang sobrang yaman, sobrang galing po sa ginagawa niya. She knows her stuff. Uh, I've seen mm-hmm. people that are in six digits debt. Meron pa seven digits, meron pa eight digits debt. Uh, in their thirties, meron also walang... Uh, wala masyadong nagawa pa sa businesses nila. What's your money principle? Why are you where you are right now? Sa akin, yung money principle ko is parang really treat every peso that you have with value. Kasi nung bata pa lang ako, mahilig na akong mag-shopping. And during that time, ang ginagamit kong pera, syempre, were galing sa allowance ko. So it was for my parents. And so, nung time na yon, parang hindi ko siya masyadong na value. I mean, hindi dahil wala akong gratitude, but I guess minsan parang sabi ko, ah, parang feeling ko nun laging nandyan. Tapos when I started to work already and try to see, or save up for myself, parang hindi siya madali. And dun lalong mas nagkaroon ako ng appreciation for the hard work of my parents, ganyan. And may mga times, pag nag-overspend ako, syempre I'd feel bad, parang ba't ganun? Pero at the end, ngayon na may asawa na ako, I realized na, yun nga, every peso really counts. Kasi kung wala yung piso, wala. Parang before, kala ko nun, ah, okay lang yan, I, I can earn this, I can keep on earning this. Pero you have... The, the pandemic like this, hindi, hindi mo alam eh anong pwedeng mangyari the next day. So, 
like I said, going back dun sa unang sinabi na very important talaga yung savings. And siguro dito, with my conmari, with my decluttering, I've learned that many different items doesn't, they don't matter much anymore. Kasi ang importante is, we're healthy, we're we're spending time with our families, ganyan. And I know a lot of my clients, when I talk to them right now, parang mas madali silang nakakalit go ngayon. Kasi parang lahat ng mga hirap na hirap silang uh, binili before, parang now, hindi nila magamit, hindi nga sila lumalabas, alam mo yun. And so, times like this, I think pumapasok yung what are the intangibles, ano ba talaga yung mga gusto mong paghirapan, pag-ipunan. And so yun, I know it's a very difficult time right now, a lot of reflection, a lot of siguro mga sinasabi na ibang tao missed opportunities, pero now, ako, I choose to just look at, okay, what do I have now? And how can I continue to improve? Kasi syempre, in terms of the money situation, it's very tight for me, pero hindi pa rin ako nawawala ng, hindi pa rin ako nawawala ng hope na I can make my business have another funnel na kumbaga baka ito na yung mas relevant ngayon for people like virtual tidying and hopefully um, also inspire other businesses na at the beginning parang shocks parang wala na itong pupuntahan na pero meron pa rin kasi buhay pa tayo eh. I have a question on top of what you said about uh, yung there were times before that you would spend a lot of money na nang hinayang ka. What was the biggest one-time expense that you bought na sobrang laki na nang hinayang ka na sabi mo dapat hindi ka ito ginawa eh. And the reason why I asked that mm-hmm. madami taong ganun na <laughs> sobrang dami taong sobrang dami taong ganun and uh, I want I want you to break down the process bakit mo siya binili and bakit ka nang hinayang after? Usong-uso pa nun yung bagong Sony Ericsson na yung nasusulatan mo tapos at that time sabi ko parang pa gusto ko nang ganito eh nung time na yun parang wala naman wala silang parang my, my parents din, gusto nila ibigay, pero alam ko na may iba pa silang gustong gawin to use that money. Pero coming from love, binili nila sa akin yung mahal na phone na yun. Tapos after, nung na-realize ko, parang dun ko nakita, parang shocks ang selfish ko naman. Parang I, whenever I looked at that material thing, kahit matanda na ako ngayon, I go back thinking na people who love me will always give me the best. But minsan kasi, Pag hindi rin ako rational, parang if I'm just thinking of myself, parang sarili ko lang, parang isipin ko, i-justify ko na, oh, okay to gamit na to. Pero, looking back, I mean, telephone siya, okay siya, high-tech siya nun, pero nag-work din naman yung 5110 ko dati, parang ganun. So, mga hindi nakakalamin yung lumang cellphone dati. Pero, um, why, why did I say that? It, it's, I guess, it's really um, putting importance dun sa ano ba magagawa nung bagay na yan as opposed doon sa kung hindi ko siguro binili yung phone na yon baka may iba pang nagamitan yung parents ko um, more important for that. So, yun lang. Alam ko sobrang tagal na yon pero nag-stick yun sa akin hanggang ngayon yung matanda na ako. Also, knowing that when to set my limits. Parang, kung kaya, kung may money naman ako and wala akong ibang tao na masasaktan or masasacrifice, edi go. Pero kung yung ibang tao yung pinapabayad ko, ibang tao rin yung magsasacrifice, parang it's not very responsible. And so siguro yun, that, that's the money lesson I, I brought with me now. Kasi hindi madali, parang for someone who loves to shop, parang slowly nakikita ko yung mga ganong mga bagay na okay, pag hindi ko siya pera, I have to be responsible. Kasi it really affects not just them, it also affects the whole family and the other decisions. Because for a lot of family members, they really love you and they want to show sometimes their love through gifts. But if hindi nila kaya ma-afford, ayaw lang nilang masaktan ka, sayang, uh, may, may, masa- may masacrifice. You mentioned about going online, putting your service online. Uh, sa, sa mga tao din na may brick and mortar na either product or service, Ano yung mga first steps that they can actually do also to pivot online as well? Uh, madaming, what what this pandemic has done is it has caused a lot of people and forced them to go online. People who have been saying that uh, it's not as important to go online. Ngayon, everyone's forced to, to actually do it. And I guess I'm, I'm grateful being, hindi ako first sa YouTube, but uh, doing a lot of videos before everyone else do, started doing it. Uh, for me, it's not, Ayun, I'm not transitioning into anything because yun eh, I've been doing online yeah. na 
stock trading has been done online and I've been managing uh, some of the businesses that I have online as if na kahit wala ako doon kasi uh, I've been physically alam mo naman ako yung schedules ko I'm not in Manila most of the time especially in the past few years that mm-hmm. I had to pivot everything online so for me it wasn't a transition for you uh, how do you suggest it for people that want to put their businesses online for me kasi ako I'm not a very techie person pero this this ECQ has really I think fast track my need to to learn more about technology. So for me, ang um, tip ko for people like me, parang start with what you're comfortable with. So for example, sa akin, yung payment systems. Yung baga, yung mga, hindi ko alam, ang dami na palang pwede aside from Gcash, Paymaya, yung mga Palawan, when we send mga uh, sweldo ng tao. So, iba-ibang methods. Before kasi, alam ko lang is, okay, deposit, dyan. So very, very archaic yung mga alam ko. So, and then even for looking for products and selling products, yun, yung FB marketplace and other I, other things, parang creative na talaga ngayon. So, ngayon nga at this time, nagiging excited pa ako because there's so many new ways and means na parang malilevel up pa yung business ko. And just sharing it with my friends, parang kasi kung baga itong technology na to, hindi naman na to babalik eh, di ba? If, if it's either we adapt or maiwan tayo, ganyan. So, yun. Start with what you understand. What's your comfort level first? And then, pag okay ka na, naintindihan mo na, and then go little by little. Kasi, alam ko, minsan nakaka-overwhelm din talaga yung technology. Pero now, I think the platforms are very easy to understand. Hindi na kagaya dati, kailangan mo pang maging coder. So, so yun lang. And also, ask, from, ask help from your friends, like people you trust. Like, for example, for you, di ba? Um, Marami kang natutulungan with what you're doing now dito sa mga videos mo. And so, yun. Thank you very much. For those who want to at least contact you, is, is your ta- online tidying already available? Uh, can they can they consult with you already? Actually, yes. So, kung interested kayo, if you want to tidy up your home virtually, you can just get in touch with me. You can follow me on Instagram at World of Yorokobi. Or you can also send me a Viber message, 0917-813-0264. Kaya okay. Viber, para ano, send nila yung picture nung mga gusto nilang i-declutter na areas. Mm, sige, that's what I'll do. No? I'll put the details also in the description para uh, mapuntaan mo siya. I'll end, let's end this video with this. And I've been asking this to a lot of the people who have been guesting in the vlog. Uh, madaming tao ngayon because of the lockdown they're depressed they're scared some of them talaga baka wala na talagang kikitain some of them magsasari negosyo some might be uh, out from their out of their job also uh, there's anxiety there's uncertainty uh, any words of encouragement or advice from them uh, for all of your viewers kung sino man kayo kung may work man kayo na walan kayo na work ma walan kayo na work I really just want you to remember right now even if it's so hard to believe that you are blessed I think by the mere fact na nakakahinga tayo healthy ka I think for now yun lang yung priority talaga natin ngayon eh because this pandemic is something na hindi natin alam kailan matatapos hindi natin alam saan siya nagtatago but I, I really just hope that you can get from wherever strength you have in your heart to be grateful for just being alive right now. And the fact nga na andito tayo ngayon, we're still able to watch each other. I'm able to share some of my tips as a decluttering um, expert ngayon sa inyo. That means that we still have our mission and purpose here in the world. And so with people like Marvin, kayo na nandyan, um, ano lang talaga, we really have to be grateful and know that there will be a, an end to this. Thank you so much for being part of this video. And I know to all of you, I, I hope that you got a lot from this. We're getting uh, different insights from different people. As, as you notice, no, si Renilin, her business is very, very far from finance, but there's still finance principles and insights you can get from it. Because this is what I do know. People who uh, get out of this and win in life, uh, it all starts with the mind. It all starts with having the right mindset. And if you have the right mindset at this point in time, uh, you will be able to get out of this. And highly suggest that in, uh, surround yourself with the right people who will bring you up, not pull you down. And uh, feed yourself with the right, I guess, sources of information also. Uh, you want to be surrounded with things that will 
align to where you're supposed to go in life. And uh, have you ever heard of the saying, Renelin, that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? I totally agree with that. Okay, I'll, I'll push it a step further also for those watching this online. Uh, you are the average also of the five YouTube channels that you watch. So, puro prank si pinapanood nyo. Guess what? It in, gagalik is a prank, pero hindi nyo ikayayaman din yun. So, spend time learning, uh, building your skills as well. So, I hope you guys got a lot from Renilin. Comment below if you guys have questions. If you want more of Renilin to get, to come back in the vlog, comment, I want Renilin. And then we'll see if we can have her back in the vlog as well. And yun, send your questions and then we'll make more videos off of that as well. So, this is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.